everyone! So today I will be talking about Philippine Science High School and um, if you want to know more about this school then stay with me until the end of the video and please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and let's go on to the video. So disclaimer, everything you hear from this vlog is um, not a generalization of our experiences as a PSI student and this is all coming from a an incoming grade 11 student from Philippine Science High School, Maine and yeah, because every student has different opinions about the system so if you want to know more about Philippine Science, here we go. Philippine Science High School, PSI or PSHS, however you may want to call it, is a um, public science high school in the Philippines which has 16 different campuses from all over the country and if you want to know how to get admitted then I will tell you here right now so when I first knew about this I was just going to exam for the sake of going with my friends and yeah I didn't expect to be admitted as one of the main campus student. So around year 2016 to 2017, there were 25,000 students who took their chances to exam to the one of the most prestigious high schools in the Philippines. And only 240 of those are going to be admitted in the campus of my choice. So I remember um, during my time, I remember it having four parts. English, Math, Science, which this two have the most number of items. And lastly, Abstract Reasoning, which is my favorite since it was the easiest, I think. And during that, that time, I just told my mom that I wanted to try it and I will not um, continue in this school even though I passed. But when I knew about the results and thought that I, c I think I can do well in this school since I really wanted to pursue my career in STEM and it also has a lot of perks and benefits if you go into the school. First, it has free tuition which is like a huge thing since my previous school has a um, large tuition fee and second, um, it has stipend, which I think most students of Pisai just went to the school for stipend. And the third is, I think this will be a great opportunity for me to really pursue STEM and since it is a science high school. So, ever since the pandemic started, Philippine Science High School conducted a different type of admission and it just it contained two stages. So first is you need to submit your requirements and the second is you need to submit an essay with their prompt. And I think it is harder to get in now since you don't know their basis of getting or evaluating your grade. For this year, since the, since the pandemic started, PSI had different approach in admission. So first is you need to it has two stages. First is you need to submit your requirements and second, you need to submit an essay answering their prompt. That's it for admission. Let's move on to the different programs um, offered by PSI. Now let's move on to the program. So, Philippine Science High School um, has different six grade levels from grade 7 to grade 12 and we have a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being the highest and 5 being the lowest. And if you get a final grade of 5, 4, five, 4 or 5, well, you have to take the removals um, wherein you have to pass the certain quota to have a grade of 3, which is the passing grade in PSI. And when I first got there, I think it had like 40 clubs and you can choose 3 clubs from those 40 and there were a lot of science and sports clubs and of course I joined sports club because ever since I was young I love 
I was into sports already. So, in Presai, they really support some sports clubs, but I think they really support Alianti or Ultimate Frisbee Sports Club. But other smaller sports clubs are not yet fully supported since um, they do not really join a lot of competitions from the Philippines and outside the Philippines. So if you're interested in Ultimate Frisbee um, and when you get into Pisai, just tell me because I am a part of the varsity team and I am so proud of that since we got to compete in Malaysia and went back to back in 2019. But I, I was really sad when the pandemic started and we did not have the opportunity to represent our country again. Um, in the year 2020 and 2021 but I hope that next year we will have the opportunity to compete in this um, comp type of, types of competitions again but since the pandemic started a lot of clubs have been joining different online competitions like the debate club and more clubs I don't need to mention since there are a lot and yeah so if you are interested in clubs, you, this will be a great school to go to since it has a lot of those. But let me tell you, Philippine Science High School is, I think, not for everyone. And I think there are a lot of times where stress comes in and a lot of requirements are given and deadlines are... Um, like piled up and pressure really gets into it gets in the way and I think there are a lot of pros and cons in entering the science high school but I really loved in my four years of stay in Pisai I really loved the atmosphere the students my interactions with teachers and the time I get to spend in campus playing different sports I love with people I really cherish to be with and this I gave me a lot of opportunities to really showcase what I can do and showcase what and like learn what I really want to be in the future so in case you are interested in applying as a grade 7 or grade 8 or grade 9 you can apply for those two as new students or laterals as we call it in Pasay. Um, it, is, it might be open in the latter part of 2021 for school year 2022 to 2023 which will be my last year so if ever I encounter you during my last year in Pasay or um, as an alumnus I hope to see you soon and yeah, bye!